Hi, my name is Susan Barrett Merrill, and I am a fiber artist who is also a weaver. And today, I made a book loom. It looks like this, and I want to show you how to weave so that we can weave together. And this book loom is all about weaving friendship. So this is something that is a download on my website so that you can have it for free. And here's my website. It looks like this. It's called weavingalife.com, like that. And actually, do you know that you only need three things to weave? Which is really exciting because it makes weaving really easy. So the three things are, one, you need a loom. And on this loom, the cover of the notebook is the loom. And we're going to, I'm going to show you how to do that in a minute. But inside are the other things that you need in this pencil case. And in there, the second thing you need is a warp. Well, first of all, let me just tell you about looms. If you don't have a notebook, guess what? It's okay. No problem. You get to use a piece of bark like this that you can wind your warp around because that's the second thing you need is warp. Here's another idea. Here is a license plate that you can use for a loom. And a board like this. Or you can make a frame like this. This is called a journey earth loom. And you can just use sticks that you tie together. Or you can use a book that has a hard cover like this. So this is the treasure hunt that we're going to go on today, is a hunt for all the materials you need to go on your Weaving a Life adventure. Okay, so you're just going to find something. You can even use a picture frame like this. And you're just going to be wrapping the second thing that you need, which is called a warp. And a warp are the vertical threads. This is a warp. So you need to have something that you can tie around the cover. Now, it's really fun to go on this treasure hunt. And I want to tell you something else. Your 800th great-grandmother was on this treasure hunt because she was a weaver. This was 20,000 years ago. She didn't have any stores to go to either. She had to find stuff around where she lived to weave. And she wove everything she needed for clothing, for anything that she wanted as a weaving. She had to find and go on this treasure hunt. So the second thing that you're gonna need is the warp. And for warp, I've been using this uh, blue t-shirt because you can just use recycled clothes for warp. And it looks like this. Here's what happened. I cut it up like that and I tie it around the cover of my book. And here's my book loom. And you can get a, a binder from school that you have in your backpack still. And all you're going to be doing is tying a knot right in the back like this. Okay, you're just tying a knot like that, and then you're wrapping it around like this. And you're going to be wrapping it around four times. And you can just knot it anywhere in the back. So if it's too short, you add another piece, and there's your warp like that. Okay, the third thing that you need is weft, which is the horizontal threads. And that can be a lot of different things. Um, warp is also yarn. If you have any kind of yarn, you can use it as a warp also. And it just needs to be pretty strong for the warp. So it doesn't break when you pull it around tight because the vertical threads have to be tight. So the weft can be things like, and this could be warp too, this is a ribbon or you can use more fabric like this. I just cut up some other fabric. 
You can use, here's a, some string. This is some linen string. Or any kind of thread that you have that you might double, you know, like this. So it's a treasure hunt. You're gonna just look around and see what you could use for your warp and your weft. And I have all kinds of really fun little, what I call cocoons that I make. And these are making my weft like that. And I just wind them around my hand like this. I take my yarn and you don't have to do this, but you wind it around like that. And then you pinch it and you wind it up here. And there's all the information you need when you download the book loom for free from my website, weavingalife.com. And what's really fun is that we're then going to go on around the world. We get to travel on the Weaving Life adventure, uploading all the things we've made on our friendship loom. So here's what it looks like, because now the second thing you need are pencils, or you can use knitting needles. You can go outside and find some sticks. You can, let's see, use whatever is sort of gonna be able to go under here and slightly lift the warp off your book. It just makes it easier to weave. The only three things that you need are the hard cover, the warp thread, and the weft. And weaving is just over and under, over and under, back and forth, across and back, these warp threads. Now let me show you what you can make with those because it's so much fun to weave. It's my absolute favorite thing to do. You get to make things like, uh, let's see, once you put on a warp, and the first warp is only four threads, and the four threads, you're gonna be making friendship bracelets. And you can make lots of them for your friends. Here's one made out of yarn, like that. I put two beads on it because you can add things. You could sew buttons. You can do all kinds of things like that. Um, here's one made out of fabric. And I love wearing these because what I do is whisper into them and that's something that you're gonna find in the book too. So, the three main things that your great-grandmother, 800th great-grandmother found was something to make a loom out of and then she found warp material and weft. And you can use grasses and inside of bark and lots of other things that you can go outside and find. So it'll be fun to go on that treasure hunt. But the real adventure is then to look at what you can make. And so on here, the four things are your friendship bracelet. The second thing is an amulet. And it looks like this. It has eight warp threads. So you're gonna be adding four warp threads for each um, of these projects that you're gonna make. This is the eight warp threads right on this book loom. That's what it looks like, okay? And here's another one. This one is made out of this material that I just showed you, okay? And I added a shell and I just, you know, wove this with my eight threads. The next thing you're gonna make is a belt of power. Here's the one with the yarn. And you put a pen in it because you're gonna be writing about what gives you power. But here is the one I made out of cloth. It looks like that. And what you do is put it around your waist and just open up the place where you are comfortable and you just put it through and you make yourself a belt like that. The fourth thing that you're making is called the pocket bundle and it has a button and you can open it and you learn how to make a button hole 
like that. And here's one made out of the t-shirt, like that. It's really fun to weave. I think you'll have a good time. And you can take it with you in your backpack as you're, you know, walking around or wherever you go. Here's one that I made out of the in bark. This is the inside of a linden tree called basswood. And it uh, looks like this. And you can make beautiful things out of nature. You can add grasses. You can really look around and see what you can find. I can't wait to see what you're gonna do. So these are the things that I just wanted to show you, that you could add seeds and go around and plant some seeds, but put them in. You also can make gifts for everybody that you're with right now. You um, can do, go on a treasure hunt for, here are, you know, an earring that's just one of a kind, a bead I found, a shell I found. Here's an old pin that you can put it all on it. So you can really have fun collecting this treasure for your projects. Here are buttons. Here's a bell that I could use. Here's a button that I found, a silver button. And just sort of fun buttons. There are a lot of things you can use for buttons for these projects. And then of course, you can go out and find some stones or seeds or shells. Here's a piece of glass. So there are a lot of fun things that you're gonna be putting in here and giving as gifts as a friend. And so we have a map of the world and wherever you are, you can upload your amazing weavings to this map. And we're gonna to try to make a friendship circle around the world. So I invite you to be one of the people who's part of the friendship circle by using, by uploading your weavings and telling us the story of how you found all the pieces and what you did. The one other thing you might need is a needle and thread because I sew up the sides often with just the yarn that I have, but then you need a, an, a needle with a big eye like that. Uh, you definitely do need a pair of scissors of some kind. Um, or, you know, just a needle and thread will work. This kind of thread and, and a, a needle. So that's all you need to do this. And I enjoy just thinking about being your friend. So thank you for today.